Hi, I'm going to talk about bottle aversion, what it is, and how to solve it. My name is Sylvia. My daughter used to have a bottle aversion when she was a few months old, and we figured out how to solve it. And now I work with moms and help them solve their baby's bottle aversion. And I also help them with their anxiety related to bottle aversion. The most common misunderstanding is that we work to get the baby to eat, but that's not what the goal is. So I'm gonna talk about this a bit later, but first, what is bottle ovation? Bottle ovation is an adverse reaction to the bottle by your baby. And it could be screaming, arching their back, um, passively just rejecting the bottle for a long um, time, like going hours without feed. And also when they eat, they eat just very little at a time. So these are the, the, the symptoms or the signs of bottle aversion. But I wanna talk about how it really feels for your baby. Because many times we just, oh my God, oh my God, the baby doesn't eat and we freak out. And then we wanna feed the baby, but we don't imagine ourselves in the baby's shoes. Feet. So, um, I think everybody had an experience in our childhood when we, we didn't like something, usually some type of veggies, but our mom or dad or both, they were, they told us that you have to eat it to get dessert or you just have to eat it. Or when we were, we were done, we ate half the, the meal on our plate and then we had to stay there and finish the meal to get dessert or to be able to, to play or for something that we wanted. So we had to stay and we hated it, right? And probably that veggie that you were forced to eat, probably you, you don't even think about eating it in your adult life. You may even like it, but since you had this bit bad experience with it, you just, you don't want it. You don't want to do anything with it. Or you can imagine, you no, know, you, you just had a big Thanksgiving meal and you're full. But then um, your mom or, <laughs> or your host brings out another big turkey and say, oh, you, you look hungry, so eat. And you don't wanna eat it, but then they just shove it down your throat. Of course, it's extreme, it's not gonna happen, but just imagine for a, for a second, how would it feel like? So that's how it is for the baby. You may think the baby is hungry, but he or she is not. And you are trying to force him or her to eat. So the baby's already full and now she just ha have to, has to eat the turkey, an extra turkey. So how is she gonna feel about the turkey next time? Especially if it happens continuously, like not just once, but several times a day, then how, how will she feel about the turkey? Of course, she's gonna hate it. Or maybe she, she just doesn't like the taste or doesn't like something in the, with the bottle. And then you keep putting it in front of her. She doesn't wanna do anything with it. And after a while, she just links these bad, even horrible feelings to the bottle. So, Just imagine yourself in your baby's shoes or place and, and think about it. Like she doesn't wanna eat, she doesn't like it, she's tired, maybe she is sick. And then what she sees is just a bottle all the time 
um, in her mouth or in front of her mouth or or we we over offer when we are desperate right like we we freak out oh my god my baby didn't eat for seven hours and we are desperate to feed her but she's not ready and then we just annoy her with the bottle so that's how it is from the baby's perspective and to solve the bottle aversion we need to link good feelings about the bottle like i'm sure you have memories when maybe you went to a place and then it was just the perfect day it was sunny it was beautiful you had great company and then you linked all these good feelings to that place and then next time maybe you go back and then you try to get that feeling and then it's not the same but in your head it was nice, but if you if you went back maybe three, four times and you could recreate the whole thing, like you would feel that wonderful every single time, then that would be your favorite place in the whole world, right? And it's just how we feel. So the baby link back feelings to the bottle because of whatever uh, reasons. And now we want the baby to feel good about the bottle. So we create an environment when, when she is peaceful, she's happy, she's playing, and she's in control. And we don't know when she, begin, she begins to associate into, oh, it's feeding time. So we start with the feeding position because many babies with bottle aversion scream just uh, when they are put into a feeding position. So we start with the feeding position, make sure that it's neutral, make sure the baby is happy in the feeding position. And then we go, if the baby has a bib, then create a playful, peaceful environment while she has to be born. And then comes the, the before the, the feeding time and then the, the bottle comes in and then the feeding itself. So all, the whole process from the feeding position, sorry, I forgot to <laughs> turn my phone off, sorry. So, from the feeding position till the end of the feed, the goal is to create a, a good, not just a good, an amazing experience for your baby. So the goal is not to feed her. She may not eat, but every single time it's a great experience for her, she will feel better and better about the feeding. And then sooner or later she will start to eat. For sure she's going to eat, she's not going to starve herself. If you don't pressure anymore, then she's not going to starve herself. She will eat uh, little amounts, like an ounce, ounce uh, one and a half ounces, just to, to take the edge uh, of the hunger. But if she experiences this, this present, feeding process over and over again, then she will just link good feelings and then she will like bottle feeding again. So that's how it is from the baby's perspective. And that's why it's very important. If you have in your mind that your goal is to feed your baby, then you will be stressed because your baby is not gonna eat from the beginning. Even if you stop uh, any pressure it's just one time your baby linked bad feelings for a while. It was a process. It's a, pro it's a process to solve bottle aversion again. So it's not gonna happen after one time. If it is, then great, you're lucky. So, so that's the goal. And then the side effect will be that your baby is gonna start eating more and more, and then it will be just, a joyful and intimate experience for both of you. So um, 
yeah, this is what I wanted to clarify. If you'd like my method, um, I will put the link. Uh, I have a, a free version of my method. It's a mini ebook that you can download and you can try out the process. And um, if you want, then you can have the, the full version of it. And I do coaching too. So I'm here to help, I'm here to support you. And uh, yeah, find the link in the comments.